Hello and welcome to day one of my 31 Days of Horror. I'm Joey Hollywood, and the movie I'll be talking about today is Frankenstein from 1910. This is a silent film produced by Thomas Edison. When going into this, I thought this was a lost film, but apparently it was found somewhat recently. It's 12 minutes in length, and I'll be quite honest with you, I wasn't expecting it to be so visually compelling. A lot of these older silent films, you know, pre-German Expressionism, tend to be very flat and dull. They're pretty much just plays acted out. And this does have some of that in there, but there's also some very interesting camera work. For instance, there's a shot where there's a mirror in frame. I didn't think much of it, I just thought the mirror was just there. But the mirror was used as a tool to build suspense. You could see Frankenstein's monster enter into the mirror, and it was it, it, it still worked. There's also a very interesting element towards the end of the film, and this is somewhat of a spoiler, where Frankenstein's monster becomes one with the mirror. And Frankenstein himself looks at himself in the mirror and sees the monster. And I think they were trying to go for some sort of metaphor that they're one and the same. They're both monsters. I love Frankenstein's laboratory. It's very cheesy. I love the little skeleton man at the bottom of the frame. And the way Frankenstein's monster comes alive is is very unique. I've never seen anything like it in any other Frankenstein adaptations. I'm assuming the way they shot it was they had a puppet and they burned it as it was moving and then reversed the footage. I, I, I suspect that's how they did it. I also noticed that a lot of the audio, the music, matched up with things that were happening in the movie. I'm not sure if this is actual music taken from when the film came out or if this was a new composed song for this release of it. Anyone who loves silent films can tell you that it's best to have music written for those movies for them to have the proper impact. Watch The Kid Without Charlie Chaplin's score, it's a completely different movie. And I felt like I was kind of cheating just doing a movie that was only 12 minutes long, so I tried to find some other Frankenstein silent films, and I found a couple. I found one called Life Without Soul, and I was going to talk about that, and then I realized that the film was lost. So then I found another one. And then I found out that film was lost as well. So it looks like I got off easy on my first day. But I'll see you tomorrow in day two of my 31 Days of Horror.